Hello everyone, we will continue the topic lock object and in the previous video based upon our requirement, we created this lock object. Now the important part will start. Now, if you have the knowledge of function module topic, it will be a add on. If you do not have the knowledge of function module topic, no problem, because anyways, we will cover that part so that you can understand fully based upon that knowledge. Whenever we are activating a log object, just listen the word we are saying. Whenever we will activate a log object, SAP generates two function modules. I am using the word SAP is generating the two function module. It means SAP is automatically generating the function module. We are not creating these function modules. Now, what are those two function module? The first function module name is always, always NQ underscore lock object name. And the second function module is DQ underscore lock object name. SAP automatically generates two function module one with nq underscore lock object name and another with dq underscore lock object name. Now, suppose simple example. If my lock object name is ez underscore vbeln, then what will be the name of the function modules? nq underscore this name dq underscore this particular name. Now the question comes, what is the purpose of these two function module? The same, same, very easy understanding. nq will be used for locking and dq will be used for unlocking. Yes, unlocking is compulsory. If you will lock and for two hours, you logged and it means what happened? Others are not even able to do anything at that point of time. So we have two function modules, NQ and DQ. NQ will be used for locking and DQ will be used for unlocking. But no problem if you do not have the knowledge of function module topic, you can learn as a part of a BAP programming playlist. Now. Now we will see those two function modules which got generated. Now we have a new transaction code. You can always, always check the function modules through SC37 transaction code. SE37. Those who have the knowledge of function model, they know. They can go to SC37. What is the first function module nq underscore? What is the lock object name we gave? We'll simply copy from SC11. This is our lock object name. We will display. Now, when we created the lock object, what was the mode we choose at that point of time? We choose the mode as shared. If I will go to import, have you seen what is the default value? S. We already covered in the previous video that the default value for read lock is read lock or shared lock is S. S. Suppose I will simply, simply change the mode. Suppose I will go for write lock now. I'm activating. Never forgot to activate, otherwise you will not be able to see. Now this is the function module. Similarly, okay, I'll show you DQ also. I forgot to show DQ. What is the name of second function module? DQ underscore my lock object name. 
This is our second function module, which will be used for unlocking. Now, now I change the mode to now write lock. Now, if I will display this function module, have you seen the value change to E? What is the default value for right lock or we can say exclusive lock? It is E. e. Now I will change the mode. I will choose now enhanced right lock. Or we can say exclusive not cumulative. I am activating. Now I will go to back button. If I will go to this NQ function module, I will go to back button. If I will display, you can see what is the default value now, X. So this is the way you can see. We are not doing anything with the function modules. We are changing here and same thing are reflecting into function modules. And they are not our function module. The first word is E. It is other than Z or Y. So we have not created these function modules. These function modules are automatically generated by the SAP. So whenever we are activating a lock object, SAP automatically generate two function module, one with NQ and another with DQ. So what is the summary of the video? Yes, in this video, we covered that whenever we are activating the lock object, SAP generates two function module, one with NQ underscore lock object name, another with DQ underscore lock object name. And they are SAP generated. Never, never change these function modules, nothing. If you want to do something, change in the lock object, they will be automatically appear in the function module. The first function module will be used for locking and another function module will be used for unlocking. When we choose the shared mode in the function module, the default value S is coming. When we choose the right mode, the default value E is coming. When we choose the enhanced write mode, default value X is coming. And yes, the transaction code to check the function modules is SC37. Now in the next video, we will simply, simply use these function modules inside a program. Because our target is what? We will create a program with the help of that program we will change the payment mode for the orders. And these function modules we will use in the program to go for locking and unlocking. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.